Number 55. Determine which of the following contains the greatest mass of aluminum, and then they give me three samples. So they give me 122 grams of ALPL4, 266 grams of AL2Cl6, and then 225 grams of AL2S3. Now, the hidden problem in this question is that they gave us samples of compounds, right? All three of these are compounds, right? But the question was asking, which one has the greatest mass of aluminum? And aluminum is just Al, right? It's just an element or an atom that is found inside each of these three samples, right? Here's aluminum here, aluminum here, and aluminum here. So the question is, can we go from a compound to an individual element? right, because they only want to know for aluminum. So can we go from a compound to an element, an individual element, single it out, or an atom, right, because that's basically the same thing, and can we do that? Yeah, but the thing is, is that we can only go from moles of a compound to moles of that individual element. And if we can do that, moles of compound to moles of the individual element, that's in one single step. And we just use the element coefficients. So we just multiply, oh, sorry, not the coefficients. Sometimes I get confused. We use the subscripts. And remember, the subscripts are just the lower numbers at the bottom of the compound. So we will just multiply by those subscripts. But now the thing is, do we have moles? Well, no, right? They gave us all in grams, 122 grams, 266 grams, and 225 grams. So the first thing is, is we got to convert all three of these to moles. So let's start it off. So 122 grams of ALPO4 times by the ratio. You don't want grams anymore. ALPO4 goes on the bottom, and you want moles of ALPO4. So what are the numbers that go here and here? Well, we're at, you know, question number 55. So we should know the conversion by now, right? So I'll put it up here. One mole of anything always equals the molar mass, which is found on the periodic table of that anything, right? I just say X and X, but X could be a compound. It could be an element. But the molar mass is in grams per mole, and that's how you find that answer, right? So, okay. So here, we have to find out the molar mass of ALPO4, and that will always equal one mole. So this number is going to be found on the periodic table. Now, you guys should know how to do a molar mass by now. I'm going to quick hand, verge, you know, quick hand version it for you. If you guys don't know how to do a molar mass, I think go to question number 42. If you guys have the playlist, you could just scroll up to number 42. There's tons of questions that will help you just find molar masses. But in this case, we need to take aluminum, which is over here, phosphorus, and oxygen. So if we try to find out for ALPO4, we just take 26.98. And if you guys want to shorthand it by just saying 20 not, 27, you know, that's fine with me. Just make sure that your answer is super, super close. 30.97 plus 4 times 16. And you get one, whoop, you get 121.95. So grams of aluminum phosphate will cancel. 122 divided by that molar mass. And we need three sig figs, right? Because we started off with three. So this would just be 1.00. So we basically get 1.00 moles of ALPO4. So that's how many moles are here. I'm just going to put this here because we might have to erase some things. All right, next step, we gotta do 266 grams of Al2Cl6. So times that, grams of Al2Cl6, and then moles of Al2Cl6. Now, in this question, which I got from the OpenStax, this looks like a 1, but I'm assuming that it's supposed to be chlorine. All right? So one mole of anything equals the molar mass, which is found on 
the periodic table. So now we need two aluminums, so two times 26.98. And then chlorine is right over here, so we're going to be taking that number. So this plus six times 35.45. So your answer should be 266.66, cancels this out. So 266 divided by 266.66, you get roughly three sig figs here, right? So you get 0 0.998 moles of Al2Cl6. So that goes here, 0 0.998 moles of this. And now we just got to find out the moles of the third one. So 225 grams of Al2S3 times by grams of Al2S3 on the bottom moles of Al2S3 up on top. Remember your conversion that one mole equals the molar mass on the periodic table. So we'll be taking Al and sulfur, which is right here. So we have two aluminums, two times 26.98 plus three sulfur, so three times 32.06. You get 150. 150.14 grams cancel out and you're left with 225 divided by that you get one point we still need three sig figs so 1.50 moles of Al 2s3 okay so that's over here 1.50 moles of this all right so now I'm gonna erase because now we have moles of the compound so now we can go to the moles of the individual aluminum element by, or aluminum atom, by timesing by the element subscript. So let's see. We had 1.00 moles of AlPO4. So if I want to find moles of just aluminum, what would I have to multiply by? Well, I would just have to multiply by how many aluminums are in this compound. If it's Al, there's one Al, right? So basically, you would just times by one. So this would still be 1.00 moles of aluminum. Let's do the next one. 0 0.998 moles of Al2Cl6. We want to get to just moles of aluminum. And you always multiply by how many aluminums you have. So here you have... 2. So you would times by 2. So 0 0.998, I mean it's going to be roughly 2. 0 0.998 times 2 is 2.00 if you still keep the 2 sig figs. So 2.00 moles of aluminum. And then last but not least, you got 1.50 moles of Al2S3. So you want to go to just moles of aluminum. Multiply by how many aluminums you have. Oh, well, you have two aluminums here, right? So you would just times by two. So 1.50 times two is 3.00. So now we can get the answer from here because we should know that the higher the moles of anything is always equal to the greater the mass in grams of that same thing. Remember, you can only compare apples to apples. You can't compare apples to bananas. So they have to be the same element or the same compound. But in here, it's all moles of aluminum. So you can just pick the highest number, which is technically three moles of aluminum, which equated to the 225 grams of Al2S3. So this would contain the greatest mass of aluminum. Now, if you wanted to take it a step further and just go from moles of aluminum for each one of these to grams of aluminum, you could totally do that and then compare those numbers. But you will get the same answer for your answer because whether you do one times the molar mass, right? I'll say one times the molar mass of aluminum, two times the mass of aluminum, three times the molar mass of aluminum, three times will be the largest number. So your answer is the 225 grams of Al2S3. All right?
So this one was pretty easy. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this is helping you out. Let me know. All right. Love to hear from you guys. And if you wouldn't mind, click that subscribe button. It won't only help you out by knowing when we put out our next batch of questions, but it will help students all over the world that are using the OpenStax textbook. All right. So that's pretty cool. So I'll see you guys all in number 56. Have an awesome day.